Hi, I'm Zachary Kaufman. I'm the bio artist who invented bacteriography, a process to grow photographs in bacteria. I'm working with the Big Bang Fair, UK's largest single celebration of science and engineering for young people, to help inspire the next generation of scientists and engineers. Here, we're growing bacteriographs of celebrities, the end result of which looks something like this. Now what you're looking at here is a petri dish full of bacteria that I got to grow into the form of a photographic image. I know, this sounds like some kind of magic sorcery, right? Well it's not, it's science. And I'm going to show you how I do it. First, I start with a basic digital photograph like this. Then using some image editing software, I turn it into this. This is what's called a halftone. Very simply put, a halftone is an image made out of a bunch of different sized dots. Now this halftone is important because I use it to make a special menu. Now that part of the process I keep a secret, but just to give you an idea of sort of how to visualize what the negative is, think of it as that halftone image, like this, made of dots, printed on a clear transparency, so you can see right through it. Once I have this negative, then it's time to play with the bacteria. Now the specific bacteria that I picked for this project is called serratia. So once I've isolated the serratia, I do a nice big streak on a petri dish like this. And this gives me a whole bunch of bacteria with which to work. Then I take one of these big square petri dishes, and this is where I actually make the artwork. Using a culture spreader, I will just scoop up a whole bunch of the bacteria from this plate, and just spread it back and forth, up and down, in several different patterns all over this dish. Now the point is, I want to get a nice even layer of bacteria all over this entire petri dish. Now, once I have this covered with bacteria, then it's time to expose it to radiation. Now that part happens in a special exposure unit, so I can't actually show it to you, but I'm going to reenact it with some props. This petri dish is going to represent the petri dish after it's been covered with bacteria. This flashlight is going to represent a radiation source, so think of this light as deadly radiation. And this transparency is going to serve as the negative. So again, I cover the petri dish with bacteria, then I put the negative on top of it, and I shoot radiation through it. Now if I pull this up above the camera here, you can see how it actually creates a shadow on the petri dish. Now again, think of this light as deadly radiation, so wherever the light hits the petri dish, it's killing bacteria. But wherever the negative makes that shadow, the bacteria is surviving. Now that surviving bacteria will reproduce and make those big bright red colonies that we can see with the naked eye. I expose the plates to radiation for about an hour, then after that I put them in the incubator. After a few days in the incubator, this is what comes out. Now, once I have that final image the way I like it, I put the petri dish in the refrigerator, literally freezing the growth as it is. After a couple days in the fridge, I take the petri dish out and I expose it to radiation. And this kills all of the bacteria on the plate. Once the bacteria is dead, I can start the preservation process. And the preservation process is a long, tedious process where I basically build up layers and layers and layers of acrylics and different kinds of resins. But I end up with this. So this is one of those petri dishes, that's real bacteria, but it's behind a wall of plastic. Now this plastic protects the bacteria so it's safe to handle, safe to display, but it also preserves the image. This plate was made seven months ago, and as you can see, it still looks just as good as it did the day I pulled it out of the incubator. And that, in a nutshell, is bacteriography. Now you know how to start with bacteria, and I turn it into artwork. You can check out these bacteria graphs and much, much more at the Big Bang Fair, which takes place between the 13th and 16th of March at the NEC Birmingham. Places are free, so check out the website for details.